Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nicole. Um, today I'm gonna um talk about those uh, apparitions, uh, what they are, and yes, I have seen them, and I've taken pictures of one on my phone, a metal phone. Uh, I think I still have it. I should share one. Um, I so thought to me, apparition is just like they look. I'll explain how I see them too. Um, occasionally. Um, they are really just, uh, spirits. They're transparent, you know, see through. <laughs> um, let's see. An apparition to me is like, um, like they're discarnate. Um, they're bodiless. Um, what I mean by bodiless because some may appear to have no head and or part of a body that's like the arm you just might see somebody. That would be a bodiless. Um if they're real if they're real figure, if you can't say that right. Um otherwise it's a ghost or spirit. Um an uh, apparition of a person that's left, you know, after uh, after they died, you can either, um, I guess they have a choice to either go into the light or stay behind for a finished business, you know, whatnot. So some don't realize that they're actually dead and, um, they, um, want either revenge or some closure. And that's my job, um, if it helps them find some closure and hopefully help them to move on as a paranormal researcher and uh, investigator to we should help them to move on to the next plane um, or or if they choose to reincarnate um, I think they have a choice as well as a lot of um, I just think they'll, they have a choice to go into the light or not um, Otherwise, I don't get to really talk to them that long because when I see them, they just like vanish like that. They just like gone. And uh, um, so basically, those is like a person, or even I think they're also an um an animal. Uh, animals may not have a soul, but I think they have a spirit. Because I have seen and taken pictures of animal spirits too. Um, my last investigation um, in our cemetery at night, I um, I'm, I was drawn to this particular area of the cemetery. I was always drawn over there. And we captured EVPs. Uh, EVP is um, electronic voice phenomena. You can hear their spirit voices on audio or film. And yes, videos too. Um, um, even in the daytime, I've captured a uh, really good EVP on video. Um, and then it's like, I've said, um, like, as if I heard it, um, it's like a female, but not my it's a female. Um, we heard her say, like, this way, or come this way. And then I said, something, I feel like something's making me come this way. So like, as I as I heard, I don't um, recall hearing anything at the time. It was like a couple of years ago. Um, I started ghost hunting um, a few years ago. I don't remember the exact date, but it's been a while. And then this type of work in the paranormal, um, and now it's become more of a hobby for me to like communicate with those uh, spirits went on. And yes, there are some evil spirits, like there are evil people, there are evil spirits and ghosts. And uh, so you gotta be careful what doors you open when you do um, communicate with them. Make sure that you're protected by the white light and, you know, whatever works for you regarding your faith. Um, say those prayers, call on your angels, and, um, yeah, that would help to get rid of the evil spirit. So they won't 
So they will attach themselves to you. I think I have one attachment. Um, so, uh, um, anyway, I have seen ghost apparitions occasionally, like, every few years. Um, so I might, um, see one pretty soon if it's been a while. <laughs> so my last one, I seen at my, um, former work. Um, and he was, I call him, in my book, I called him the, the, um, Red Jogger Ghost. <laughs> he was tall, he had, like, light, light brown hair like mine. And, um, he wore, he wore, like, I see this, like, real quick. He wore, like, um, a red jogger suit. But they're short, and they're faded, and, like, a jacket, red and white stripes. Um, and he looked pale, like, and he had brown eyes. Um, gosh. He was, like, see-through, uh, transparent. So I'm like, okay, this must be a ghost. So, so I try not to panic, try not to panic or show any fear when you do see them. Because you don't realize they're dead and what they're really doing is seeking your help. Um, so when I try to remain calm when I do see these ghosts or spirits. <laughs> um, and when I do see them, I'm like, okay, I froze. I always freeze with it. This is weird. <laughs> um, but, um, I was, like, frozen. Um, and, like, um, I was gonna say some, like, hello, you know, but, um, he, like, disappeared as quickly as he appeared. Um, when I first noticed he was around me, I heard, you know, those banging sounds, like, somebody's, you know, banging on the lockers. There's a lockers room. And, like, felt like he was like banging in those lockers and then all of a sudden he just appears. So remember what I said about the knockings or in tappings, make sure you get your camera ready because you never know. There'll be a, a ghost appearing. And I've had that happen, you know, uh, from time to time. So I try to be ready with my camera. It's like what I do here something I'll point I'll try to point my camera that way. <laughs> So, um, I have captured an orb when I did it, um, but I, I haven't captured a, a full apparition. I'm going to see if I can find it on my phone. I hope I saved it. If not, I'll share it with you next video. Um, so I have so much photos, it's crazy. Anyway, um, I don't know if I can find it on here. But if you guys have captured those apparitions, um, try not to use your phone, but sometimes it's all you have, and, yeah, um, you can share it right away. You can use Polaroid cameras, you can use, um, what I used before was a 35mm, um, um, camera. So, I captured a lot of orbs, and, you know, orbs aren't necessarily all particles or dust or water, although you can rule them out, but you know when you see an orb, it's a uh, much, uh, an actual orb, they're much brighter, bigger, and you can actually see some faces inside of them, and I think during this uh, spirit, how they travel, an orb like a spirit, and it could be our angels, they're really big orbs, um, I have captured some of those as well. Um, gosh. Yeah, I don't think I can find it on my phone. But I will try to share it in my next video. Um, so if you guys have any questions or experiences with those, um, you know, feel free to comment, like, subscribe. And, um, thanks for watching. And, by the way, happy Mother's Day to all you lucky moms. Um, even though I never have a child, um, it's hard for me to accept that, but, you know, maybe this is my thing here to help, um, lost children so, and, you know, to help them find peace and closure. So, anyway, I you know, hope you guys have a nice, safe Mother's Day weekend. Bye.